text network visualization made using Infranodos can be very useful for the research process. I can import all the different research nodes that I have, see how they all connect, identify the main terms, see how they relate to each other, discover the main topics, and identify the structural gaps in the graph, which can direct me towards the questions I need to ask about my research that will move it further. I'm going to show you how it works using an example of my own research that I'm doing on discourse bias. Here we have all the different snippets and uh, notes that I took that were relevant to my research. One of the ways to do this is to find the scientific papers you find interesting, copy and paste the text that is relevant to your studies. After I add some of the research notes I have, they're visualized as a graph. I can see the main topics that were detected, so in this case it's uh, analysis discourse. I can also see the context where these terms are used. Another important topic that was detected, word network co-occurrence, so it's the co-occurrence of words, word networks. Then framing communication and semantic framing. I can also see the most influential words. Another important feature of Infranodus is that it helps me see which questions I should ask in order to move my research further. It identifies the topical clusters present within the text and the structural gaps between them, and then proposes me what would happen if I connect, for example, the discourse analysis and word co-occurrence networks. Maybe there is an interesting idea arising as a result of that connection. So I can use this feature to think of the new questions I could ask related to my research, to expand my discourse further, and have it contribute positively to the current studies in the field.